Hi folks. I came across a video on the internet as first saw it on Facebook of this person, an Italian actress. This Italian actress was searching for pornography. So instead of searching in Italy for pornography, the Italian actress went to Japan. Tokyo. And while in Tokyo, this Italian actress went to an area of Tokyo known as Akihabara. I know I said that incorrectly. It's an electronic area of Tokyo. It's popular among people who desire electronic gadgets and components. In addition, the area has quite a few of what's known as maid cafes, where young ladies dress up as maids, and they also go out onto the streets to solicit customers to the cafe. Well, the Italian actress saw this, and right away, determined why there's pedophiles. You gotta be pedophiles to go to these maid cafes. To which I have to say, really, or as we say in Japan, Magikayo! Pedophiles? That's because this Italian actress is ignorant of Japanese women. That's what she is, ignorant of Japanese women. Japanese women have a knack for not showing their age. They look a lot younger than what their actual age is. And let me give you an example. I think it was about four years ago. There, was, there used to be a magazine in Japan, popular, called Men's Egg, for men's fashion. And the editor asked me to come to the office so he could interview me. So Shun and I went to the office to conduct this interview. And at the end of the interview, the editor asked if I would mind taking some photographs with some young models. No, no problem. When the models came in, well, I was delighted by their beauty, but also horrified by what I thought their age was. Gee, middle school children and high school children here, the impropriety of this, I thought. I was rather nervous. I come to find out that these women, they were women, because they were over the age of 18. And that's when I discovered from that example, gee, these Japanese women, they certainly know how to <laughs> to hide their actual age. If, now back to this Italian actress. If you were looking for pornography, you should have stayed in Italy. This past summer, Shun and I and Mitt and, uh, what's his name? So, so we, we went to the Vatican and we went to the Vatican Museum. I was shocked by what I saw at the Vatican Museum. I thought it was a male endowment museum. The statues there would all male endowment shown for everybody to see. Good, you look at What, even the Vatican? So if you were looking for, if this actress was looking for pornography, you could have gone to the Vatican, or better yet, to any one of your museums. Recently, an Iranian leader made a state visit to Italy, and the Prime Minister of Italy took him, brought him to one of the museums in, it, in uh, Rome, and the officials had to cover up the statues for plywood not to offend his sensibilities. Because it was what? According to him, pornographic. So why are you going to Japan? You're looking for pornography? Look in your own country. Look at the cave drawings in France and you'll find your pornography. Look at the drawings in the uh, tombs in Egypt and you'll find your pornography. You don't have to go to Japan. Pornography is all over this planet. And if you don't want to do all that traveling, hey kids, you got the, <laughs> the internet. Stop bashing Japan for stupidity that exists all over the world. We'll see you. God bless you. God bless America. God bless the nation you happen to be in. And God bless our good friends and trusted allies in the land of the rising sun, Neon Koku, Japan. See ya. <laughs>